guys, Leanne here from HealthfulPursuit.com and today we are chatting about the 11 things that you can do right now to bring more success to your ketogenic diet. So stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed to the Healthful Pursuit YouTube channel, you should. You can click down below and subscribe. Okay, so today's video is focused on what I wish I knew when I first got started on the ketogenic diet to avoid all of the pitfalls and see success a lot quicker. Before we get started with the official 11 things that I'm about to share with you, there was one big one that I want to highlight right now because if you take anything away from this video, it should be this. If you loved carby carbs before you started keto, you're probably gonna love carby carbs while you're eating keto. And what I mean by that is if you loved pasta, bread, cookies, cakes before keto, there's going to be a grieving process as you figure out what keto means to you. And a big mistake that I made when I first got started with keto was just avoiding those things altogether and not finding keto equivalents. So if this is you and you loved carby carbs before, just maybe look online, find some really good keto recipes that allow you to eat cookies and cakes and pastas. In the case of pasta, if you love spiralized zucchini, awesome. If you're like, girl, that ain't no pasta. I have a really good replacement that I found a couple of years ago. It's called New Pasta. They are a low calorie, zero net carb pasta made from the konjac plant, which is really, really rich in glucomanin fiber. And this glucomanin fiber allows you to eat your pasta and stay in keto. It's pre-cooked, so it's really easy to put together. And when I was preparing the notes for today's video, I reached out to New Pasta. They offered to sponsor this video. So if you wanna find more about New Pasta, you can go to newpasta.com. Okay, let's get to the 11 official things that you can do right now to bring more success to your ketogenic diet. The first one is that if you are a volume eater, meaning you like to feel fullness, you probably should never, ever, ever, ever purchase Costco sized bags of nuts and put them like in your car. You're going to eat all of them. You're probably going to gain weight on your ketogenic diet and that's usually not what we want to do. But hey, if you want to gain weight on your ketogenic diet, this is a great way to do it. So number two, is take a look at dairy. If you are sensitive to dairy or perhaps you're just eating too much dairy on your ketogenic diet, it could cause issues. Number three, stick to safe sweeteners. I've included a link up here and also down below. I did a video a couple of months ago on keto safe sweeteners. If you haven't already checked that out, definitely do. Just know that I forgot to include monk fruit in that video. So that's one of my favorites, monk fruit, stevia, and erythritol. Those are kind of like my three go-tos. Number four, and we chatted about this before, this is the major takeaway. If you were addicted to things before and you loved pasta and breads and cookies, you're probably gonna still want those pastas, breads, and cookies on a ketogenic diet. For sure, on keto, your sugar cravings are gonna go way down, but there's also an emotional connection to a lot of these foods, and if you really loved those foods before, the consistency, the memories around that, you're probably still gonna love it when you're on keto. So. Finding a good bread recipe, I'll include a link down below. A good cookie recipe, I'll include a link down below. And you can just Google or go to healthfulperceived.com and put it in the little search bar what you're looking for and I probably have a recipe for that. Number five is keep your electrolytes up. I have a video that I've made about this. Definitely click up here or down below to watch that. Number six is consume high fat drinks. I got two favorite high fat drinks that I drink all of the time. The first is Keto Fizz. Definitely check it out. I'll include a link up here and down below. There's a little how-to video on how to make it. And the second one is a rocket fuel latte or a fatty coffee. You can even add fats to bone broth or herbal tea or whatever you wanna do. Number seven is reducing your stress. This is a big one. You can actually stop the production of ketones when you are too stressed out. Dietary stress is also a big thing. So if you're counting, weighing, tracking, weighing your body twice a day, that stress can actually stop you from seeing success. So the very thing that you think is helping is actually being quite detrimental. Okay, number eight is fast only when you're legit not hungry. If you wake up in the morning on your ketogenic diet and you're hungry, 
please eat, just eat, it's fine. You do not need to fast every single day in order to have success with the ketogenic diet. Number nine is patience and being honest with yourself. This was a huge thing that I discovered about a year into my ketogenic diet that there was no way that my body could physically be a size zero and that was a number that I had always strived for but when I measured my hip bones from hip bone to hip bone I would have to cut off one of my hips in order to fit a size zero. So being honest with yourself and your body and what your body can do is a really, really big one. Redefining your success is also really good in this space. So, you know, if, if all you're looking at is the number on the scale, but your clothes are fitting looser, your moods are better, your headaches are gone, maybe redefine what that success looks like instead of just looking at the scale. Number 10 is do not test your ketones until you're ready to test your ketones. I have seen this multiple times where people start the ketogenic diet, they're like zooming through and they're feeling great and they're on like day 10 and they test their ketones and the number sucks and then they end up binging for like a week until they start the ketogenic diet again. Just don't test until you're in a good groove and you're feeling good and know that the number doesn't define your success either. Okay, last one, number 11 is finding a group of supportive people. There's nothing more challenging than going to work every day and having to justify your eating choices or going out with friends and they're not supportive of you. It can be really hard when you feel like you don't have a sense of community when it comes to keto. So if you purchase any of my digital programs, whether it be the Keto Bundle, Fat Fuel, the Keto Beginning, Balanced Keto, you are added to my private Facebook group, which I think has to be over like 10,000 people, all in that same space of supporting one another. If you're a Facebook person, that can work really well. If you want to follow people on Instagram or maybe set up a meetup. I know in certain places in the country, there are different keto meetups and just meeting up with those people, having dinner with those people. Everyone's eating similar can just be really nice and nourishing for your body and know that you do not need to justify your eating choices with other people. So those are the 11 things that you can do right now to add more success to your ketogenic diet. And there are three awesome things that you can do right now to just be like a cooler human. The first is that I've created a free mini guide for this video. You can click up here or down below to get your paws on that. The second is I chatted about my digital products. If I had to recommend one, it would be the Keto Bundle because it has 60 days of everything you need, you could possibly need for eating keto. And the third is that you can subscribe to my channel and we can be friends forever. You can do that down below and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks, next week, who knows, on Wednesday. See you later, bye.